Hi, my name is Ronit Mukherjee and I'm a certified applications engineer with Go Engineer. In today's quick tip video, I'm going to be showing you the boundary feature in SOLIDWORKS surfacing and how we can create equal curvature in all four directions. So with the boundary feature, you have tension in all directions. So just imagine four people holding up a blanket and pulling it in all different directions, all four directions. Uh, with the boundary feature, we have the first direction, a curve for the first direction, and the curve, uh, second curve for the first direction. Similarly, I'll have two curves on the other, other end, curve 1 and curve 2, and these dictate my second direction. Now, with the boundary feature, it's based on the golden surface algorithm, and it's going to treat all these curves equally. And uh, I do have the ability to create equal curvatures on all those four sides, hence it makes boundary feature a little more um, uh, important to use or fun to use. So let's see how this works. Over here, I've got an um, incomplete model of an iPhone uh, uh, cover. And I want to finish this model by creating a surface over here that uh, uses equal curvatures in all directions. So I'll quickly open up SOLIDWORKS and here is my incomplete model. And as you can see, I've got some edges, some sketches to work with. And uh, so the first thing I'll do is I'll go into my surfacing tab and I'll select my boundary surface tool. Now you notice I've got the option for selecting directions one and direction two. So in this case, we'll select this, these uh, edges and sketches direction one. So I'll start selecting that. I'll click on that edge right there. I'll select this sketch right here, and I'll also select this edge right here. So it does, to the, uh, to the best of its ability, is able to create a surface over here. This is not what we want, so we'll go one step ahead. And on the first edge, I'm going to go ahead and give it a curvature to face option. You notice it has some other options as well. I can uh, define a direction vector. Uh, I can define some tangency, but the curvature is the most uh, easy, uh, good blend. So I'll just use that option. And you notice how the surface goes blue, so that means uh, it's using the surface to blend in. I'll do the exact same thing for my second edge, which is down here. And I'll select that edge, and uh, under my um, options, I'll go ahead and select the curvature to face option over there as well. And you notice it has callouts in the graphics area, and that changes to curvature to face as well. I can do those over here as well. Now, for my direction two, I'm going to go uh, go ahead and select these uh, two edges. The first things first, I'll have to right click on this edge and go to my selections manager, which will allow me to select the entire edge in my direction two. And you notice it comes in here as an open group. And uh, for my second one, if you notice, if I just hover over it, it shows me it's the entire edge. So I don't have to do the selection manager. I can just click it and it takes it in. So now this is where the power sort of lies, where even in my second direction, I can go ahead and uh, I can define uh, some different options. So over here, I've got curvature to face and I want it to be blended in there. I'll do that. And uh, for the other one, I'll do the same. I'll select here, uh, I'll select my second edge um, and I'll select the curvature to face option. So now with all the different uh, edges selected and curvature to face um, option selected, it gives me a good result. So I'll hit the green check and here it is. So you notice how smooth and how easily, um, uh, how good this blend, uh, blend has been created. So uh, again, going back to uh, uh, what we covered in this particular video, uh, we covered the boundary feature with the um, equal curvature in all directions and uh, we were able to create this uh, lovely blend of a surface perfect so stay tuned for my next uh, video where we can take this um, to one level up where I can look at the zebra stripes and some curvature options that we have in uh, evaluate and uh, kind of create the perfect C2 continuity between these blended surfaces. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and stay tuned for our next series.